Hey everybody, welcome back to the range. Got some body armor to test today. This particular steel panel that you have in front of you is from our friends in Sweden. Daniel at TYR Protection contacted the channel and asked us to test this panel against our 556 threats. This is EN1522 slash FB4 plus rated, so pretty much your 762 by 39 mild steel core going around 2400 feet per second. We're going to test this against M855, M855A1, M193, possibly some Black Hills 50 grain TSX, and maybe a couple other things that I can think of to throw at it. This particular 10 by 12 plate weighs 4 pounds 7 ounces. It is curved. The overall thickness is 0.165 or 4.2. Two millimeters. It has a little bit of anti-spall coating on it. Not much. Basically equivalent to your base coat. We'll be at 45 feet as always. We have our clay briefcase. It's only about 50 degrees so we won't get any good back face deformation. But typically with our steel plates you don't see a lot of back face. You usually get a penetration when the back face gets to be extreme. We use our Proconal Digital as always and a variety of firearms. Let's do this. For our testing we'll start off with the shortest barrel length possible which is our seven and a half inch upper from Palmetto State Armory. We'll do the FN M855 first, then the Independence M193, then Lake City M855A1, then a 50 grain Black Hills TSX. We have our laptop position here. You should be able to see the chronograph reading see what we get. So this is the 855 first. 2126. Now the M193. 2271. Now the A1. 294 and finally our TSX 2302 so here was our M855 here was our M193 here was our A1 and here was our TSX as you can see there we have absolutely no pass throughs we have little dimples on each spot and the coating is peeled off the back. But we have no pass-throughs. So that means we'll have to go to the 10 and a half inch barrel next. We should see some penetrations there. Let's step this up to the 10 and a half inch. We may see some penetrations here. Again, we'll do the Independence M193, the FN M855, the Lake City M855A1, then the Black Hills 50 grain Barnes TSX. Hopefully you can see the chronograph screen. This is actually a different day. It rained out on me last time when we started this test. So we're back on a different day. It's approximately about 80 degrees outside today. Velocity 29.49. Looks like I'm shooting way high. Now the M855. 26.19. And now the A1. 26.19. Then the TSX, 28.67. Let's go see what we did. So our M193 was right here. Our M855 was here. Our A1 was right here. And here was the TSX. Not sure why the M193 is way up there. Maybe 
I got the sights off a little for the slower stuff. But what do you guys think? Maybe a little hard to see. I did zoom in on the B-roll camera there. For our M193, we almost have a penetration. I do see a crack there in the plate where it's starting to almost punch through. So I'd probably put that close to the limit on the M193. Our M855 down here, there is a crater and a dimple. No cracking, that's good. We can definitely take that a little hotter. Now the A1 here, I was expecting a penetration. There is a clean hole through that plate there. It's down here, maybe I'll have to try to find the penetrator. Then our TSX, there is a dimple there, small crater, but no pass through. So we'll step up to the 16 inch with a couple of these loads and see if we get a penetration. I have a feeling with the M855 we will, the TSX maybe, maybe not. Now we have our Stag Model 1L. This has a one and nine twist barrel. We'll do the M193, the M855, then the TSX. It will be interesting to see if we get penetration at this velocity. So our M193 first. 3205. Now our 855. 2930. Let me go reset the plate. Okay, I've reset the plate. Now for the TSX. Thirty-two sixty-seven. I might have been close to a previous shaft there. Let me check before we go down there and call it. Yeah, let me shoot one more out of that. Try to get a little higher. Thirty-two fifty-nine. All right, let's go see what we did. Okay, here was our M one ninety-three. Here was our M eight fifty-five. Here was our TSX, and here was our second shot on the TSX. Maybe you can't see through. Hopefully, both of those cameras. Maybe one of them. But we got some pass-throughs here. There's some holes there. This is the M one ninety-three. This is the two Barnes TSXs. Surprisingly, the M855 has cracked the back of the plate, but it didn't penetrate, it's cracked. The TSXs, even the one that's two inches plus from these previous shots went through. Uh, not the most clean cut holes there with the TSX, but it penetrated. The M193 definitely smoked it. Interesting. I wonder how many shots of M855 this plate could take out of the SBR before it was compromised. Or I wonder if it could take uh, M80 ball at a 16 inch barrel. Let's, let's get the 16 inch 308 out. Okay, we have some M80 ball from our friends Pusang or PMC. We've tested this before, this has pretty good velocity. We'll see what this can do out of our 16 inch CZ 557. This is a one in 10 twist barrel. We've got the Yankee Hill Phantom M2 on there. Velocity 26.45. Here was our shot from the M80 ball. We got some uh, clay blood coming out of there. And uh, that's never a good sign. 
Let's flip this guy over. Got a penetration. It looked like it was getting close to stopping it. It brought quite a bit of metal with it. There's quite a quite a divot there. But it looks like it just broke out some of the steel there and did its job. There's our hole there. Goes quite a ways in there. So definitely not rated for three. Sorry, I had to change batteries. The camera died on me there. So we just can't stop a 308. I know Daniel said in testing when he went to the longer AK barrel, he started to get penetrations with the 762 by 39 mild steel core. So we're probably seeing that velocity cusp here with the M80 ball that's just too much for the steel plate. But it's still impressive for what it has stopped. I'd say it's hard to argue with the performance of this plate. Daniel from TYR Protection specifically wanted us to test it against 556 threats, specifically M855, since it's hard for him to acquire that in his country. We seem to have no problem stopping them from SBRs, and then it did stop it from the 16 inch, but there was considerable amount of cracking on the plate, so you're probably right at that V50 rating from the 16 inch, again at approximately 45 feet. If someone engages you past that, your chances of surviving that hit or not penetrating your armor greatly increases. I do have a few more of these plates in-house, so if you'd like to see a different threat tested against them, drop a comment below as always. If you guys want to see me do like M855 out of the 10 inch until we get a penetration and then M855 out of a 16 inch until we get a penetration, that may be a good test to think about. As always, I'd like to thank Daniel at TYR Protection for providing us with the plates to test, my Patreon supporters, and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.